From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. All right, welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. So good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, those of you out west in Jackson, Tennessee, those of you in Columbia, Pulaski, Lewisburg, this is Pharmacist On Call, your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, the owner of Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, the owner of the Congan Water Store of Nashville. Well, everyone, welcome back to another exciting show. Uh, this show is about you. It is about your calls, your concerns, uh, any that you have. The show is about you not having the ability to talk to your physicians because they're busy and they don't have time. And so the mantra is, I do. So this is your one hour forum to get out all of those questions and those comments that you had. Uh, first, I wanted to send out some condolences uh, to the Sharif family uh, on uh, their mother's passing and certainly wanted to let them know that they are in our prayers. Uh, we also wanted to Send a shout out, it's Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, so I wanna send a big shout out to all of my family members out there. My family is very huge, so all of you Pruitts out there, uh, all of you Perry's, Primes, Hardy's, Ford's, Haley's, Henderson's, Garcia's, Daly's, Eubanks, I got a large family you all, so I wanna spend a special shout out to my family out there, probably all close to 1,000 of you out there. Uh, well, everyone, this show is going to be about night blindness. That's right, we're going to discuss night blindness. No, I'm kidding. Don't get upset. This is the marijuana show. So this is a show where we are going to talk about the legal issues and the potential medical benefit of marijuana. Didn't want to upset you there, just, just kidding a little bit. But looks like we already got a call, so we're going to take him and then we'll get into a little bit about uh, what we've got here with marijuana. All right, line one, we've got Ronnie. Ronnie, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, sir. I wanted to see if you could enlighten me, educate me somewhat more on the joint medications that are out there today. There's a lot of stuff. There's BioFlex, there's ChemFlex, there's this, that. What do you really look for, or even should you take, an over-the-counter joint enhancement or joint medication, if you will? No, so, so are you saying that you either have cartilage missing or you just have kind of arthritis in these joint areas? Okay. What I usually recommend for people is our alkaline water and maybe an anti, a natural anti-inflammatory like turmeric. Now, that's not to discount Aleve. It is my favorite over-the-counter pain medicine. It, it helps me. One tablet lasts me all day. Uh, but you sound like you're probably an active person. Hello, sir? Okay. Well, assuming that, uh, that Ronnie is active, uh, I would recommend the alkaline water. What tends to happen is uh, we will build up acidity in these joints, and so we need to neutralize or raise the pH in those joints. It's going to get into the water a little later, but Ronnie, uh, I would recommend pH 9.5 alkaline water. Uh, I would also recommend a natural anti-inflammatory like turmeric, T U R. M-E-R-I-C. In terms of the Bioflex and the Asper creams and all of those, they're what we call counter irritants, which means they give you the sensation of this cool minty feeling and you forget about the pain. Pain is still there. It doesn't do anything to resolve it. It's just that now you're focused on this burn and you don't, you're not thinking about the pain. So it, therapeutically, it's not doing anything for you. Therapeutically, the water and the turmeric do. So T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C and the Congen alkaline water. All right, looks like we have got Brandon on line two. Brandon, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Hello? Hello? Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Uh, am I on, I'm on air? You are, ma'am. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I was just wondering how can we, if we decide to stop taking prescription pills versus um, vitamins, how is that going to be better for us? I would like to live a more wholesome, whole life and, you know, and get away from my, like, everyday prescriptions. How would you suggest that I do that? Okay. All right. So we'll just uh, let you sit there while we, while we'll put you on hold here. All right, so in order to live a more holistic life and to come off of some of the medications, never do it abruptly. 
always speak with your physician or your pharmacist about it first. Uh, I always say that conventional medicine and traditional medicine can coexist, and this is what a lot of my patients do until they're ready to transition off of prescription medicine altogether. Now, we'll just take diabetes and hypertension, for example. Uh, if I have both of those conditions, I can't just come up off of the medication abruptly and then and try to take something natural. So what I have to do is first, lifestyle modification. So now I have to get rid of the fatty foods and the things that are raising my blood pressure, have to come off the processed foods and the sugars that are spiking my blood sugar. I have to become more physically active and then continue to take my medication. Again, I'm gonna say it, Kangen alkaline water has been shown to help a number of conditions. So we have to begin to hydrate ourselves properly. And you can start taking things like beetroot juice to lower your blood sugar and your blood pressure. So go ahead and introduce those homeopathic things. Speak with your pharmacist first uh, so we can rule out any drug interactions or contraindications to whatever conditions that you have. So do this in concert with your medication until your, your blood sugar and your blood pressure get so low that your doctor is saying, you know what? I don't think you need this anymore. So one, lifestyle modification. B, introduce the, the herbal medicine slowly. You take it in concert, but remember, consult with your physician and your pharmacist, so don't doctor on yourself because you need an expert to kind of help guide you through that. And certainly never quit taking your prescription medicine abruptly, okay? So that's what we do, lifestyle modification, introduce the, uh, the herbs slowly, exercise, diet, alkaline water with proper hydration. And even for those two conditions, I would recommend beetroot juice, which we will get into uh, a little later if time permits. So that is the way you do it. That's the way you come off the medications. My patients who are in a position that their blood sugars are so low, A1Cs are going down, blood pressures are in a normal range, that is how they did it. All righty? All right, it looks like we've got Yvette on line one. Yvette, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Hi. Um, I'm calling. Um, actually I actually have a question. Um, I just found out that I have um, Lyme disease and, um, and Epstein-Barr. Yes, ma'am. Activated, and I'm taking um, a lot of different medications for that, and um, I get, like, pains in my in my like got my liver and spleen side. Yes, and I can only imagine that, you know, it's from being on the antibiotics for a while. And I'm wondering, you know, is this part of like um, cleansing like the toxins out from the, um, from the lime? Or is this like really just seriously hurting my liver and spleen? Because it kind of makes me nervous. What medications are you on, ma'am? I'm taking um, doxycycline. I've been on that for doxycycline, which is here for the limes. Okay. And then um, let's see, uh, ribosamarin. Spell it, please. Do you know what that is? Did I say that right? Spell it, please. What? Spell it, please. Spe I can't hear you. Spell the name of the medication. Um, R I B ribosamil or ribosamin. Are you taking that for Epstein Barr? Yes. Okay. Well, it's the Lyme and Epstein Bar. So I have. I'm taking like antifungal, um, the doxycycline, the um, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm, my memory is really bad now. Um, I, what is the other one? Oh, and so I killed the spirochetes. I forgot what it's called. Um. Oh, my, 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 I can't say it. <laughs> my, my or Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. So that's that's your antifungal there. My guess is that the the health condition and some of the medications that you're on are taxing your liver. Huh? So what we can do there is we probably need to introduce. Uh, milk thistle, uh, which has been shown to help detoxify the liver from medications, uh, which is shown to help heal the liver uh, against things even like uh, the different types of hepatitis. Uh, 
Right. So I would go with uh, milk thistle. I think the milligram that I sell in the store is 600 milligrams. I had a number of people who have gotten great results. In fact, one lady, uh, she's come in, and I think her doctor told her that she didn't necessarily need it, but now her serum transaminases are in normal levels now. And so a doctor's saying, great, you don't need anything for your liver, but I've encouraged her to continue, and I'm sure she's watching, to continue taking that milk thistle because it will pretty much just go ahead and reverse all of the damage that has been done to the liver. So introduce that twice a day. Uh, you probably do between 300 and 600 milligrams of milk thistle. Uh -huh. Is there any other things that you would recommend to kind of keep the taxing of my body down? Like, you know, to, cause it, it really worries me. I mean, I'm 50 years old, and I'm just like, I don't want to, you know, wipe myself out with these medications. I kind of want to take it easy and, you know, do what my body can handle and not any more than that. Well, again, I'm going to have to recommend the water. It is It has amazed me at the stuff that it has been able to do. So a lot of things that I had no clue that the water was good for, it, it's turned around a lot of conditions. And these are what my patients are reporting to me, uh, not things that I've read or Googled. It's just everybody is telling me different stories about, hey, this symptom improved or this health condition is improved or these numbers improved. So I would recommend alkalinizing your body, getting the pH up. Mm -hmm. So Congan alkaline water, pH of 9.5, one half, one ounce per one half pound of body weight. So if you're a 100 pound woman, you drink 50 ounces, which would be about a liter and a half, which should be about close to maybe around half a gallon or so, maybe more or less. But you'll want to alkalinize your body and uh, probably stay away from foods that acidify you like your red meats, your fruit juices, things that contribute to your body being taxed. Oh, does that include, do you think lemon also? Because I thought that was part of like the detoxifying. You think I should stay away from lemon as uh, well? Uh, yeah, because it is a citrus fruit, which means it contains citric acid. So it is also acidic. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I will have to let you know what happens to me yep. in a couple of weeks. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Give us a call. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, everyone, we are up on a break. Stay right there. We will be right back.